In Indiana, a new law will bring more accountability to law enforcement. Both Democrats and Republicans are hailing the Police Reform and Training Act as historic. Our Brad Underwood, he is live in Lawrenceburg with the details on this one and what this means for law enforcement moving forward. This is a big deal, Brad. It's a very big deal, Dwayne, and uh, lawmakers in Indiana are hoping other states follow this model. But since the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis last year, communities across the country continuing to call for police reform and police accountability. House Bill 1006 is a start to that, but agencies here in southeast Indiana are still waiting on specifics on exactly what will change and how it will change. This bill requires police officers to take de-escalation training and it creates a procedure to decertify officers who commit misconduct. The law also bans chokeholds under certain circumstances and makes it a misdemeanor for police officers to intentionally turn off their body camera. It also requires a hiring law enforcement officer to request the applying officer's employment record, as well as other information from previous employing agencies. Representative Randy Linus believes other states will follow Indiana's lead on this. Greg Sturwald was the main author on it. And he has received uh, inquiries from other states, other uh, states about, hey, how'd you do this and what's in it? And uh, hopefully it could be a model. OK, so what do police think about this? Well, that is a question that we don't have uh, any answers to all week since Monday, calling all five sheriff's offices in southeast Indiana, as well as placing calls to eight different police departments. None agreed to do any interviews about the bill and the new law. Now, the Aurora police chief did tell me on the phone that they already do de-escalation training in his department. The Dearborn County Sheriff Shane McHenry telling me that that kind of training is mixed in with some training that they do, but they do not have specific training courses on de-escalation. As for the Indiana State Police, tonight at 11, we'll find out what they have to say about this new law. Reporting live in Lawrenceburg, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Dwayne. Very, very interesting, Brad. Thank you so much. By the way, the law also includes $70 million to upgrade the 50-year-old Indiana Law Enforcement Academy's training facility. That law, by the way, goes into effect July 1st.